Chrissy, and thanks to the team. Great to be back in Singapore. Um, now, for those of you in the audience, and I'm guessing there's a few of you, be very interested in what the spodumene prices are doing currently. Um, I've just heard uh, unconfirmed reports that the, the Arbemale 10,000 tonne auction parcel has just sold for about 9,000 RMB a tonne, um, which puts it at about US 1,300 a tonne, uh, uh, including VAT. Um, that, and that's a really important price signal because what it demonstrates is that we're, we're through the floor. Um, the floor was probably now four to five weeks behind. Um, and we're seeing now sort of sustained um, improvement in terms of consistency of pricing. And I expect that to continue to improve through, uh, through the third quarter leading into the back end. And that's really important because as far as our project's concerned, one of the very few on the planet um, that is progressing well advanced through DFS stage, um, soon to have a mining lease in hand um, that positions us brilliantly for when we do see sustained improvement in the commodity price and of course sentiment. So here to um, give you a summary, uh, a quick recap on, on the company and our projects. Uh, we have two projects in Western Australia, um, two of the best mining jurisdictions on the planet within WA. Um, our Marble Bar project in the Pilbara and our Manor Lithium project in the Eastern Goldfields. Um, collectively, we've got a JORT compliant uh, resource of 54 million tonnes. Um, we're expecting that to improve on the back of uh, last year's drilling and also further extensional drilling we have planned this year. Great jurisdiction to be mining. Uh, the metallurgy we've completed to date um, is showing some fantastic recoveries and, and recovery is important in lithium processing because it ultimately will underpin the financial metrics of your project. Um, we've got two wonderful strategic partners on our register, Mineral Resources and also CAMMAX, and a very experienced team. I think the board and management team collectively, more than 250 years of cumulative uh, resources experience in the, in the WA mining industry. Um, and we're value creative. We're, uh, we're well capitalised, 32 million in the bank, um, and looking to deploy that and grow the project organically and inorganically throughout the course of the next 12 months. Um, tightly held register, only 260 odd million shares on issue. Um, great value proposition, the current share price market, particularly with what we're seeing, um, sustained improvement in pricing. Um, as I said, CAMMAX and Mineral Resources taking about 20% of the register. And there's six companies covering the stock there. Uh, on an unpaid basis. Importantly, cash at hand. Um, we're fully funded all the way through to final investment decision um, over the next 24 months. Importantly, CAMMAX, this is a company that um, controls about 130,000 tonnes of lithium hydroxide conversion capacity in China, um, well diversified. But for those who don't know, they also have some spodumene concentrate processing infrastructure. So we've um, developed some really wonderful technical insights from this company. Um, in terms of processing, and that experience is going to be really invaluable when we take our project forward through the funding stage. Um, and this is a company, and I've having visited them recently in October last year, um, really world-class lithium hyd hydroxide processing infrastructure. And the reality is in this market, in the next two, three years, if you want to make money in the lithium industry, you need to have a toe in China. I think globally we will be diversified as far as our offtake goes. Um, we're in no rush to do offtake, it's a weapon for us. Um, and certainly, sort of three key pillars that make us a unique value proposition from an investment perspective. We own both our projects wholly. We are not encumbered through any royalty regimes across our projects. And 70% of our offtake um, is on con uncontracted, as I mentioned. Let's talk about Manor. This is a ripping project located in, a, in arguably the best mining jurisdiction on the planet. Um, Kalgoorlie's a mining centre has been mining various products now for the best part of close to 150 odd years. We're about 100 kilometres east of Kalgoorlie. Um, importantly, we've got an operating rail line eight kilometres south of our project site. And that rail line um, takes us to a number of export um, terminals. So we're well advanced in terms of our conversations with various logistics providers, but we've got optionality around our logistics. Um, exploration's key. We've completed uh, close to over 100,000 metres of drilling now in two separate campaigns. Um, our existing uh, MRE, a resource estimate of 36 million tonnes, is based on a single year of drilling. Um, we've got the 60,000 metres uh, coming through as part of an MRE update in Q2 that will be delivered. Um, and about 60% of that drilling was infill. 
And what we've found through that, that um, infill drilling campaign is the grade is lifting, we're getting great continuity, um, and the resource is still open. So the focus of this year's drilling, far more targeted, is going to be on extensional drilling. Uh, and the idea there is to, to improve life of mine and add significantly shallow tons to this resource, will which will improve the economics. So uh, the geology team is very excited. Um, we've got uh, a stacked um, multiple pegmatite ore body here, terrific grades, um, very, very consistent high grade. Um, and what we're seeing is that the undercover part of the ore body to the south is showing great potential through some very late, um, late hits we received as part of last year's exploration campaign. So we'll be drilling around 6,000 metres and that campaign will kick off in a matter of weeks. I mentioned earlier DFS and de-risking is critical, um, particularly to coincide your project as being the next near-term producer and that's exactly what we're angling for. Um, we've been now embarking on this DFS for the best part of 12 months. Uh, it's advanced and um, this project now subject to some optimization work. So we're using great, uh, GR Engineering Services, a fantastic EPC company based in Australia. They're doing some CapEx optimization for us currently. And SRK, we heard one of the, um, the gents from SRK talking earlier. They're undertaking a separate technical review, peer review. So when we do deliver this project to market, it will be bulletproof and competitive. Um, so we're super excited. As I said, um, one of only a handful of companies on the planet in the lithium industry uh, that is at a DFS stage. And to get to a DFS stage, you need a lot of things. You need a team, you need to spend a significant amount of money around metallurgy, um, the DFS campaign itself, uh, and of course all the optimization and, and technical de-risking um, streams that need to be part of your DFS. Uh, so we're thrilled that all the heavy lifting's behind us. Uh, and we'll get to announce some great results to market in, in the coming quarters. We've also completed a really substantial metallurgical test campaign, and metallurgy is everything. Um, the work we've done here collected around 12 metric tonnes of core, uh, and that's been used um, in 66 individual flotation tests, uh, and the results of those, that test work in particular has uh, improved the recoveries. We're now achieving consistently around 75% recovery. And that's through the run of mine all the way through to the final concentrate. And those are, those are exceptional recovery rates. Uh, and that matters because it ultimately will drive your project economics and your MPV. So we're thrilled with the, uh, the results thus far, but we've, uh, we've got some additional optimization work we're, we're looking to continue with. We've got a unique ore body, very high grade and very low in gang mineralization and iron. And that's a unique advantage that we have the other core part of any project, successful project, is approvals and permitting. And again, well advanced. We, uh, we submitted a mining lease application in April of last year. Um, we're at the advanced stages now of our NTMA, our Native Title Mining uh, Agreement, uh, at the very pointy end of that negotiation. And we are expecting conclusion and execution of that agreement uh, in the second quarter of this year, which paves the way for the company receiving the Holy Grail, which is a mining lease, and we're hoping to, to receive that in the third quarter. And again, if you look at the timing and that data point with regards to Arbemarle's auction, I mentioned at the start of the presentation, is really important because we're seeing now sustained improvement and I expect in the third, fourth quarter, um, sentiment will return to this sector and we'll be a company that has a mining lease in hand. So it puts us again in a wonderful position to, to execute, take the project to a final investment decision um, in the next 12 months. And, and lastly, just on the environmental approvals, that's the other very key component. Um, we've got no priority one species identified. We've completed all of our flora and fauna surveys on site, um, and that paves the way again for our envi environmental uh, permits uh, and approvals to be uh, accepted this year. Just a couple of photos of the project itself, and just lastly, the milestones. Busy year ahead. Um, there's a lot of strategic growth opportunities for us as a company, um, but again, metallurgy, expiration, uh, our approvals, uh, and of course, that DFS, which we'll be putting out in the market the back half of this year. So, great time to be in the industry. Uh, if you want to know more, please come and see the team um, at Booth One. We're just behind that flashy Polestar. So, thank you again, Chrissy.